Well, if you're one of the millions of people who like to wake up to a cup of coffee, here are grounds to celebrate. Global research finds that drinking coffee lowers the risk for cancer of the liver. It's the second leading cause of cancer deaths around the world. So that's important news. Now, another major finding is the connection between liver cancer and being overweight. Research shows that your risk for liver cancer goes up if you put on those extra pounds. Well, Dr. Christine Sardo Molmente is with the American Institute for Cancer Research. Joining us here, and thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, let, let's start with coffee. I think this yes. is great news for a lot of people who like to drink that yes. stuff. I yes, mean, I don't is. particularly do. Yes. Uh, what is in coffee that, that makes this so uh, beneficial in terms of fighting liver cancer? Well, coffee has thousands of co compounds. Some have been identified, some we still don't know exist in coffee. Mm -hmm. But we do know that there's bioactive components, they're called polyphenols, mm. that are highly abundant and concentrated in coffee. And uh, we don't know which ones in particular, although there's some evidence to show chlorogenic acid and some phenolic acids are responsible. So it's not necessarily the caffeine that is something within that coffee bean outside of caffeine. So in other words, yes. people who drink caffeinated products outside of that that may like soda and other things, yes. there's not gonna be much of a benefit <laughs> at all. They don't count as much. In fact, studies have shown where, they've, where people have drank caffeinated and decaffeinated coffee, it doesn't matter per se, but what really counts is the coffee bean and eating the, and drinking the coffee bean in its, in its uh, purest form um, okay. is actually beneficial. But of course, balance grasshopper, balance. Yes. <laughs> yes. We're not talking about an abundance of coffee, like four or five cups a day. Right. Just don't go overboard. What are we talking right. about here in terms of balance? Well, doctor? the American Institute for Cancer Research, which just came out with this new report last week on liver cancer, which is, is, is examining the link between liver cancer, food, activity, and body weight, in this report, they found that one cup of coffee per day is associated with a 14% reduced risk of liver cancer. Interesting. Yes. I've got one other, one other tidbit here for you that, that I think makes sense yes. here. Um, Chocolate-covered coffee beans. Yes. Might that be a preventative as well? It's a, well, it's a nice combination. Uh, coffee and chocolate mm -hmm. uh, both have compounds that are high, highly concentrated in polyphenolic uh, polyphenolic. Uh, constituents mm -hmm. and the dark chocolate when you are consuming it is best when it's in 80 or 90 percent uh, range of the cacao bean mm -hmm. um, so that is a nice combination but what we're really focused here is is on the coffee and its association with liver cancer sure. uh, we can't really we don't know how much or how often you should drink coffee but this report did show that one, one cup per day is protective. Sure. And of course, this is also a holistic approach here. You're also talking about the, the, the incidence of obesity yes. uh, and, and liver cancer yes. as well. Talk about that. Yes. So we know that you know, approximately two-thirds of Americans are overweight or obese. Mm. And adipose tissue or fat tissue is highly active. Mm -hmm. It emits hormones and growth factors, um, certain things called cytokines that all produce this inflammatory environment that actually makes it very uh, beneficial for, uh, for cancer and other diseases to, to proliferate and progress. Let's talk about the, 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 the body mass index. A lot has yes. been said about that. What mm -hmm. is the ideal body mass index? I, I, I assume it would go by your, your height, uh, your, your bone density, those kinds of things. Talk yes. about that. Yes, so the body mass index is calculated by taking your height and your weight, your height in meters squared and your weight in kilograms, and it identifies three sort of key categories. The healthy category is 18 to 24.9. Mm -hmm. Overweight is 25 to 29.9. Mm -hmm. And obese is anything over 30. So body mass index is, is sort of a, uh, a meter that we use to gauge our, our health in terms of our, our height and our weight. And we want to be between 18 and, and about 25. OK, and also, of course, with liver cancer as well, alcohol is not a good thing. But I guess, obviously, a little bit of exercise, keeping down your weight, maybe a little coffee here and there, maybe a cup a day is not a bad thing. Not a bad idea. And the report actually showed that people who drink more than three cups of alcohol per day increase their risk of liver cancer. Oh, my God. And we even know that lower levels of alcohol are associated with other cancers. So really trying to limit your, your alcohol consumption, and the American Institute for Cancer Research recommends one cup for women and two glasses of alcohol per day per men uh, right. maximum. Well, some good health news for our yes. viewers uh, overseas and here, of course, in the United States. Dr. Yes. Christine Sardo Molmente, so much. Uh, a pleasure to have you here. Thank Sempre you very much. Piacere. Such a pleasure. Thank okay. you. All right.